everybody, and welcome to Movie Libs. We are happy to have you here with us today. If you could take a minute to like and share this so that other people can come hang out with us, that would be super cool. Uh, if you've never seen our show before, what we do is we take scenes from famous movies, we pull words out of those scenes, and then you all give us new words to put into those scenes, thus making an entirely new scene that we reenact for your entertainment. Uh, tonight we have the fun theme of spoiler alert. I don't know if everybody else is like me, but one of my favorite uh, things to do when I can't sleep or whatever is to pick a random movie that I know I'm never going to watch and read the whole plot of it and just spoil it for myself. I'm never going to watch it. I'm not. Why bother? Let's just find out that's what, what I did with Midsummer. <laughs> what did you do? I said, that's what I did with Midsummer because I will never <laughs> ever watch that movie. And that I, especially too, after reading it. I also read that one. Um, yes. Yeah. So anyways, let's take a look at our beautiful cast. Look at these lovely people. Oh, here we go. We got Dana up here rocking the red. Look like she's in a cave, but hopefully she gets out alive. No, because I went to turn on the tech light and it was strobing, that's and I was strobing. like, "That, that's not good." And I was gonna ask no. Tina about it, and then I forgot. Yeah, it was strobing it's when right. I was there today. Really that's why I think the other lights on instead of the prop light. I, I don't barely know. fitting don't look know. for how dark and uh, terrible a lot of these movies are. So that's that's fine. <laughs> I mean, they uh, don't. Stacey, how are we doing over there? I'm doing great. I'm on top again. Ooh, ooh. Where I belong. Where I belong. You know, I almost actually swapped Marco up top, but I was like, Stacey was here first, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought that's how you Politics. got us. <laughs> Where I belong. How are we doing down there? It's cold and lonely. No. <laughs> I get to be with Tina. That's cool. Oh, thanks. I'm perpetually a bottom feeder because I'm always yeah, late. Yeah. So. Tina's yeah. always That's right there. Because she's late. We appreciate that about you. So anyways. Uh, yes, <laughs> I am coming from my job at the Cheesecake Factory. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'd buy cheesecake from Tina. That's for sure. Yeah, um, anyways. Something to drink? What we do for our first scene is we ask for words ahead of time with lovely pictures like this one uh, that tell us what words we need for our first scene. You all gave us wonderful things such as Pepto-Bismol, uh, Judy Bloom, and other stuff that we're gonna use in our first scene. For our later scenes, we will ask for the words live and you'll give them to us as we go. Um, first, but yeah. For our subsequent scenes, sorry. I heard yes. I was listening to someone say it subsequent instead of subsequent, and it broke my brain. My subsequent. Um, anyways, uh, no. no, it's all right. If your brain is broken, I want you to share it with us. So let's dive into our first scene. Uh, and by the way, all of these scenes are like, most of them are 20 years old. One of them is 10 years old, but the rest are all 20 plus years old. So you have plenty of freaking time to watch these. You're not going to do it. Uh, this <laughs> movie is 2000's American Psycho. The plot of this is a wealthy New York City investment banking executive, Patrick Bateman, hides his alternate psychopathic ego from his coworkers and friends as he delves deeper into his violent hedonistic fantasies. And the spoiler alert, uh, Bateman finally confesses everything to his lawyer and his lawyer laughs at him and says that's funny and tells him that Paul Allen isn't actually dead. So did any of it happen? What? Probably not. What? Um, and in our scene, Patrick and Paul are at dinner and they're both being snobby little dickheads. <laughs> Annoying. Um, <laughs> anyways, let me find Charlie and then we'll do it. <laughs> <clears throat> Spoiler like alert, I uh, was refinishing furniture this weekend, so I was inhaling paint and varnish and uh, wood dust, and so I'm probably going to cough the whole episode, so apologies in advance. Spoiler alert, Yay! she just <clears throat> cough because she was poisoned. I also, oh, hey, the thing is, oh, I guess we're here. I'm just waiting no, for No, I uh... want to know, okay, I came here for the cilantro crawfish honey barbecue boneless chicken wings, which is, after all, the only excuse one could have for being in this restaurant which is, by the way, almost completely empty. I'm very sorry, sir. Hi, guys. Spoiler alert. Charlie forgot that it's 6 o'clock. Uh, Tina, could you tell us what's happening at the comedy spot this hey. weekend? Hey! Yes, I can. <laughs> and all of my... <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, 
so spoiler alert. This is a lovely <laughs> look, by the way. I had a baseball hat on today, so this is sweet. Um, hi. Welcome to me. Welcome. <laughs> um, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Uh, it's open mic night, kids. So if you like the stand up, either performing it or watching it, come see it. Eight o'clock. It starts seven thirty. If you want to try to get on the list, amateurs up to professionals. It's you know rolling the dice. Come and check it out. Um, tomorrow night is Helix Night. That is our up and coming performers that have taken all our classes and auditioned to be in a weekly show. We put them into teams, and three of the four teams perform each week for your enjoyment. It starts at eight o'clock as well. On Thursday, we have two shows. Um, at 7 p.m., we have Six Degrees of Strange improv show. And at 8 p.m., we have Document This, which Dana is in. This is a document based, um, documentary, excuse me, based uh, improv show based on your title. Uh, Friday night, we have our musical night. So we have 7.30, uh, Masters of Rap Improv, otherwise known as MRI, one of the most underrated shows of the comedy spot spectrum, I believe. Um, 9 p.m. is You the Musical, a completely made-up musical based on your song title. Uh, Saturday, we have 6 p.m., Improv Jam. Uh, Corrine Lemke, I believe, is in that this week or this month. Um, that is our mostly... For am I? Because I signed up for it, but I have not been notified. So we'll find out whether I am or not. Well, I saw your name on the list. I'll okay, check. well, I'm we'll check on that, that out. Okay. My <laughs> hair looks like, terrible, by the way. Okay. Um, so six o'clock is Improv Jam. It's uh, kind of like open mic for improv students. And then we throw in some of our experienced students to work with them as well. Uh, 7.30 is Trash Movie Improv, so trash movies, and then improv based on trash movies. It's a fun show. And 9 p.m. is our uh, No Longer Flagship, our headlining main stage, uh, <laughs> longest running comedy show in Sacramento, Anti-Cooperation League, is on stage. Uh, Kareen, will you be in that? Farewell, buddy. Share well, buddy. Okay. That's at 9 p.m. Um, also coming up on your radar uh, next weekend, um, not Anti-Cooperation League, which keeps popping up on the calendar, but Weird Strange Bazaar is 12 noon to 10 p.m. It's 19, technically 20, but 19 newly produced shows uh, that you can watch at our theater or online at home. You can start off at home and come into the theater and then go back home and watch the rest or vice versa. Or if you're just not here at all, watch them online. Um, it's $20 for the entire day, 10 hours of programming. Um, we do cut the cameras for the last show because it's strip prof. So you don't want to see that. Um, I mean, you probably want to see that perv, but you're not going to see it. So yeah. spoiler alert. Perv. <laughs> perv. Um, and that's, that's, that's to happen. How are we looking, Lemkies? We're good. We're ready to go. Oh, so I'm delicious. just droning on with this oh. SDS haircut. That's fine. Okay. It looks cool. <clears throat> it looks cool. Let me start over. Let me start over. Get on the right, right script. Okay. Uh, no, I want to know, okay? I came here for the cilantro crawfish honey barbecue boneless chicken wings, which is, after all, the only excuse one would have for being in this restaurant, which is, by the way, almost completely empty. I'm very sorry, sir. Forgotten room temperature coffee in a Corona. Hmm. Would, would you like to, to hear? Uh, Pepto-Bismol. Yes, sir. W would you like to hear the specials? Not if you want to keep your epiglottis. <laughs> this is a real beehive of activity, Halberstram. This place is hot. Very hot. Listen, the mud chicken wrap and charcoal cotton candy flavored frozen gogurt are outrageous mm. here. <laughs> yeah, well, you're late. <laughs> hey. I'm a child of divorce. Give me a break. Mm. I ah. see they've omitted the pork loin with lime jello. You know, we should have gone to Buffalo Wild Wings. I could have gotten us a table. Mm. Nobody goes there anymore. Oh. Is, is that Judy Bloom? Oh. <laughs> Jeez, Patrick. I mean, Marcus. Why would Judy Bloom? be at Texacana. So uh, the Rothschild, uh, wasn't it Rothschild who was originally handling the, handling the Fisher account? How'd you get it? Well, I could tell you that Halberstram, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> uh, 
I like to dissect people. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Great tan, Marcus. You know, I mean, really impressive. Where do you tan? Salon. Ah, I've got a tanning bed at my barn. You should look into it. And, uh, oh, Cecilia, how is, uh, how is she? Where is she tonight? Cecilia's, uh, well, you know, Cecilia. Yeah. I think she's having dinner with, um, Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. Great ass. Goes out with that horse butt, Patrick Bateman. What a diarrhea face. <laughs> Another Pepto-Bismol, Paul? Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? And scene. <laughs> Bravo. Fun fact, yes, I do, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like Huey Lewis in the news? He's, I was very quite the fan back in the day. I was wondering. Oh, that was my. <laughs> That's that's my favorite thing on tape when I was like three. Was this? That's album. fantastic. I used to wait up for Friday night videos when um, I've got I'm like blanking out on the name of the song. The one where the video Marco, you'll know the one with the video that was like at the haunted house. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't remember off the top of my head. It was like a massive about. production video, and I used to wait up like every Friday to check it out. It was great. Anyway, whatever. I was in high school. I love you to listen to how do you at least think I love really sports. Whatever he about... says in this scene is wrong. Sports. Oh, sorry. How do you think he, they feel about being included in this movie? That's like quite a like odd. He did a scene from. He did a whole thing with like Weird Al, where Weird Al was sitting down and oh, Huey Lewis was actually like making fun of him and doing the whole. He did the whole scene. It was very inter entertaining. Oh, nice. There's no Good such thing as bad promotion, Kareem Lemke. True. Hey, you know what? I'd rather not someone acts murder someone will be like how do you feel about kareen lemke <laughs> <laughs> you know i think funny? it's fine if an uh, <laughs> axe murder wants to use me to murder somebody and say you are murder. inspiring in that respect you know what ironically yeah. enough two years ago today i went to a concert where the band actually wrote a song about american psycho that samples that song by huey lewis in it and it's really fun and murdery and they do like a mm -hmm. fake like axe murder on the on the stage, so that's wow. fun. But maybe it never even happened. Maybe it was all in his head. Who knows? I didn't know that was the twist of that movie. I never saw that movie. Well, you know, now you don't have to because we've spoiled it. Yeah, I was never gonna watch it. <laughs> I only exactly. watched it because when I was in law school, there's this like meme page. I don't even. It's on some site that like was popular back in the you know early 2010s. And he did a bunch of American Psycho references, and I was like, I don't understand any of these. I have to watch this movie now. Yeah. No. I, I only oh. knew that he talked about Huey Lewis. But then now having watched the scene, I'm like, he's actually very wrong about this. It's not correct. <laughs> sports is the good album. So wrong. Yeah. So wrong. I have the greatest hits. That's a great album. Yeah. Mm. It should be. Sports. Sports. <laughs> Sports, sports is the, the, the shit. The one that yeah. he plays is four. Is and that one's okay. It has a square, but it's not as good. If any of you know Roman Spinale, a local comedian, he actually, I found out, really digs Huey Lewis in the news, too. Like, it's, I think, his favorite band ever, which is weird. I oh, was really? That. Yeah. That's awesome. Very random. Yeah. Uh, Dana, what are we getting from our beautiful people? Um, We have nickname Dave. Evan, hi Evan. Evan. Happy name. Tuesday, Evan. Evan. Hope you're feeling okay, Evan. Oh no, is Evan sick? Evan got the vid. That would Sorry. explain oh, my spoiler his... alert. Sorry. That would explain the <laughs> drug Paxfo... Paxlovid. <laughs> yeah. Is Dave your doctor? Is that why it's a good nickname to use? <laughs> this stuff is the shit, by the way. It's great. Just kidding. Mm. Is that what they give for COVID? Yeah. yeah. Get that stuff early it's great like um, covid packs lovid that's why they rhyme they should do that with all medications great <laughs> yeah. got erectile dysfunction take I don't know. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um thing you find at work a pallet of condoms do you where do you work where do you where work do you see that a condom factory <laughs> that would make a lot of sense or maybe at planned parenthood or a or a Walmart or a Costco. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I guess if they're in the boxes, that makes more sense. In my head, they're just, the boxes. Like loose. they're just a little, they're little individual pack. <laughs> You're like on a pallet. <laughs> a pallet, but I, I expected them to be shrink wrapped on the pallet, but they're all yeah, loose. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have that thing. You gotta wrap Same. it in the plastic. I got this saran wrap open and woo, God, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Um, <laughs> this is true. Thing you find at work: frustration and job security. That's <laughs> true, but less fun than a pallet of condoms. Yeah. <laughs> so. Drug methyl penadate. Oh. Um, that? Aww. What's that one? Activity, trying to come up with words, but failing miserably. Oh, you're the best. In the penadate. Oh, methyl penadate treats uh, ADHD. ADHD? Yep. Oh. Brand new oh, Ritalin. Ritalin. Drink. Naked juice. That yeah, sounds like, like something somebody says and tries to mean it sexually. Well, come drink, come drink some of my... Naked juice? Naked <laughs> juice, yeah. Oh, Just want to listen to Huey Lewis and drink some naked juice? Yeah. <laughs> open um, a pallet of condoms? <laughs> you want me to crack open this naked juice? <laughs> I got many different naked juices from my different taps. <laughs> you got your utility knife and cut open that pallet of condoms? <laughs> Spill them all over the floor. Creature manticorn. Is that a manticorn? Okay, so we Is that a manatee and a unicorn? Like a... Body oh, part. Mandu- medulla oblongata. Got it, Dana. What's a manticorn? I think you're right. I think it's a manatee unicorn. Which is, is that a narwhal? narwhal so. Activity annoying my cat. But then wouldn't it be oh, a man- okay. manaticorn? Uh, Sounds like I'm just saying it like Dr. Oh, this is great. Nickname Twinkle Tits. <laughs> Man. They sparkle. Twinkle Tits. Uh, you want some naked juice? And we can lay on body the part. On them. <laughs> you and want some naked appendix. juice? You want some naked juice, Twinkle Tits? What? Yeah, let's get this party oh, started. Oh, no, Shirley. I hope it's not acting up too bad. I heard that if your appendix is going to rupture, you get pain around your belly button. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, was annoying one of the ones it's a lower right quadrant yeah, yeah. Dana less, was annoying you have less precise cat. pain receptors in your abdomen so what was annoying my cat one of the things that was offered yes thank yeah, you activity. thank you Charlie okay let's see where where's I I need one more activity and a drank a drank drank uh, Oh, Evan says, yes, I have acquired the COVID. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I you did it. Good the job. I an activity, them. you said? I need an activity in a body part, apparently, because I put naked juice in body part. <laughs> that's not <laughs> Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, so Shirley says she worked for the State Department of Health in maternal and child health. In that makes perinatal sense. and reproductive health. That makes that's very classy. Um, but Dennis comments. also says Costco Def has a pallet of condoms. <laughs> that's true. Uh, activity reading Next broken activity. boy romance. I don't I know what a pallet that means. of condoms and a dollar fifty hot dog, please. Yeah, you gotta go. To the <laughs> don't ask what I'm doing with them. them. <clears throat> Keep them right next to the adult romance. Life. What um, is that? Dennis shares a birthday with Huey Lewis. Oh, then who it's I also sad to, sad to learn that he's losing his voice. Like his something. Aww. Body part, a paw. Perfect. You know, I'm going to hope that I put all the rest of these in the right spot. But if I didn't, guys, just roll with it. I don't know what's happening today. Anyways, let's go to our second movie. Scene number two. Your second oh. scene is from 2004, which was apparently a big year for spoiler movies. Uh, it's The Machinist. The plot of this one, factory worker Trevor Resnick, played by a way too freaking skinny Christian Bale, suffers from insomnia so severe that his condition has taken a toll on his weight and his mental health. When Trevor unintentionally causes an on-the-job accident that horribly injures a co-worker, he descends further into paranoia, blaming his problems on an enigmatic figure named Ivan. Uh, spoiler alert! 
uh, Trevor comes to realize that many people in his everyday life are not real. They are hallucinations brought on by a combination of guilt over the death of uh, over a death that he caused, uh, his insomnia and his rapidly declining mental health. Yep, bad times. Uh, in our scene, Trevor and Ivan, the fake fake Ivan, out of our, I think Ivan's fake. Yes, I forget. I don't know. I read these. There's a lot. I read a lot. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Action. Clicky clap. <laughs> Another naked juice. Make it a double. <laughs> <laughs> you shooting packs of the void or something? You look like a pack of the void fiend to me. No offense. I don't use drugs. Normally, I don't even drink. How about abnormally? <laughs> Reynolds is back to work. Guess he made bail. I'll tell you one thing. Whatever he did, he sure ain't coping to, to it. Coping to it. Would you? Never trust the con twinkle tits. <laughs> They ain't get to be like being honest. Where are they hiding you these days? Around. Hey, you want to see something? Look at that. <laughs> I lost my paw on the lathe. Yeah, they repaired it with my big toe from the left foot and a chunk of my medulla oblongata. <laughs> That's why, that's, that's why I try to come up with words, but fail with a limp. <laughs> yeah. I can't annoy my cat like I used to, but the ladies sure like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you look like you've seen a manticorn. Funny you should say that. The guys from work don't think you exist. That's why I can't get a raise. According to Tucker, you don't even have a pallet of condoms. You believe that? Why would they lie? They just have a little bit of fun with you. I'm not laughing. <laughs> Quit fiddle forking around. A guy lost his appendix. He could have died. That ain't my problem. You caused the accident, not me. Where are you going? To read my broken boy romance. You want to watch? Yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> See? <laughs> Ew. It's gross. It is. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of uh scars were those supposed to be yeah those are just like zombie scars that you put on your face oh i was like what the yeah i was wondering so i looked up fun fact get creative. Um, according to the dvd documentary christian bale lost 62 pounds reducing his body weight to 120 pounds he wanted to continue down to 99 but the filmmakers would not allow it due to health concerns yeah and it was worth it because we all remember everything that happened in this movie. Never seen it. Or, nope, never or no one watched nope. it. And they just know it as that movie that Christian Bell got real tiny yep. for. He's also yeah. six feet tall. So six feet, Shit. 120 pounds. Right. It's nuts. However, That's I do like this nice. Ivan guy in this scene. I yeah, I like, Ivan I like how you, you kept turning into a, like a British soccer hooligan. Yep. Yes. Because I can't do a New Orleans accent, so I, I had to just do right. something that's unruly. Stacy's <laughs> like oh, really base is British hooligan. That's just her base. That's where she goes. Oh. Oh. Speaking of who, if you uh, like Guy Ritchie and you've seen the uh, movie The Gentleman, I highly recommend the series The Gentleman on Netflix, which is kind of loosely based in that world. And oh. you'll know. Oh, because of. British hooligans. I get it. British hooligans. That's why I was like, why did she mention that? What world? There's an Elijah Wood movie where there's hooligans. I don't remember what it's called. I just remember Elijah Wood was in it. 
Was Ooh, it the Lord the... of the Rings, the two towers? <laughs> <laughs> no. They were very British hooligans there. <laughs> he didn't have pointy ears. Can... Give me that ring. <laughs> Give me that ring right now! Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna slam this. I'll oh, cover you the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Geez. What are we getting, Dana? We have date July seventeenth. What was it huh. called? Sad boy, wonder boy. What was it? Broken boy. What? Yes. Broken called... boy romance. What is that? Just she just said sad... the boy. The boy main character has a ton of issues. Oh, so you mean reality? I'm oh, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our favorite jaded Dana. I love jaded Dana. <laughs> well, I got called out for that at the meeting yesterday. I was like, I'm not, I don't understand. I'm sweet and cute and want a boyfriend. <laughs> emotion, emotion flabbergasted. Yeah. Fish fingers and custard? Oh, oh yeah. That's a Doctor Who reference. What to do when Fish. your tummy hurts? Hurl. Bro, you got hurl. Custard is a Doctor Who. Bro. Yes. That sounds gross. It's like yes. I'm getting shot. Way to say good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Yeah. My scars are put away and ready for future use now. Way to say good morning. Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> I need to work on my accent because those are my peeps. You, yeah, you definitely need to work on your com comical Irish accent. That'll make them real proud of you. No! Oh, that's all you have to do. Toy, 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 toy. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, what was that? Thing you TL1? can record audio on a Newman TLM 103. What's Something that you have, Evan? That's one of Evan's fancy voiceover equipment things, I bet. Is it good? Newman? I'm going to look this up. Um, food, avocado oh, toast. Oh, it's fun. Delish. PLM one of them. Type of room, panic room. I got one That's of those. That's too close to what we're doing. <laughs> Different um, room. <laughs> way to say goodbye. Hello. Object that can that can reflect an image. Silly putty. Okay, I, I, so, yeah, I don't think that the scientific thing it's doing is reflection. No, but, that's true. You know. <laughs> an object that can reflect an image in an oven door. Ah, Ooh, that one. True, true. Yeah, only if your oven is clean off the outside. Um, a thing you can record audio on, a mix CD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good. Oh, Ooh, I've those. done this. Activity going streaking. Yeah. In the quad. <laughs> um, a type of room, the TARDIS console room. Also a What's that? The TARDIS mm -hmm. is the spaceship the doctor flies around in Doctor Who through. It's the phone booth he uses. Yeah, he travels through space and time. Nice. Prize, a bubble wand. Stacey, Doctor Ooh. Who is this nerd show that you don't want to watch. I've never seen. Sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. I think I've tuned in like, for like minutes and I was what like... What kind of doctor is he? He's doctor. not a real doctor. He's a, he's a time space lord. doctor. Yeah, he, he's you an know alien. You Star Trek is dorky? No. Doctor Who people get beat up by that. It's like British Star Trek, only with time travel also. And what is it, one out of like 47 years? It's a woman. Finally. Yes. And, then, and that's back to a man. <laughs> yes. But this time it's not a white man. So that's great. Ooh. There's some diversity I still there. Watch the show. Did you do that too, Kareem? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Stacey? This is just my yeah, life. You have to do that too. <laughs> I need an activity, please. An activity tripping <laughs> over absolutely nothing. Sure. I'm good All at time. that too, Shirley. Stacey, are you putting on your, your Native American? That's a no. no. <laughs> I got Wild, Stacy Wood. Movie list does not condone cultural smart. appropriation. No. no. We, we also yeah, have room. I don't like it. Lactation Ooh. room. That's funny. Oh, Sorry. That made me laugh. 
Are you guys dressing up like British hooligans? 90% of lactation rooms just a shit closet. Spoiler alert. They're just like, what? Behind a curtain is like where they keep their cleaning supplies. That's the lactation room in most places. Um, Anglers, let's get into our scene description. Scene number four, again, back to the great old year of 2004, is Saw. The plot here, photographer Adam and oncologist Dr. Lawrence Gordon wake up in a decrepit (laughs) bathroom at first. Uh, chained to opposite sides of the wall with a dead body lying between them. They are the latest victims of the Jigsaw Killer who challenges them to complete a task or die. Now, spoiler alert, after Dr. Gordon saws his own leg off, it is revealed that the dead body in the middle of the room isn't actually dead. It's Jigsaw himself, which like, hi, someone would have noticed him breathing. Like, I don't understand how, but sure, whatever. Okay, (laughs) fine. In our scene, Adam and Dr. Gordon wake up and play recordings from Jigsaw. Let's do it. See, Marco, I'm beat up. (laughs) Oh, you're beat up blonde Native American. (laughs) What is that? It's... It's a, it's a, it's a uh, mix CD. Where did you find it? it? It was in my pocket. It says, play me. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> You're probably wondering where you are. I'll tell you where you might be. You might be in the lactation room that you die in. (laughs) Up until now, you simply went streaking in the shadows, watching (laughs) others live out their lives. What do voyeurs see when they look into the oven door? Now I see you as a strange mix of someone angry and yet flabbergasted, but mostly just pathetic. So are you going to watch yourself die today, Adam? Or do something about it. I don't. I don't get it. You throw me the player. No, you throw me the mix. Your mixtape. Look, we're gonna have to work together if we want to get out of here. Now, just throw it to me. No, I'm not gonna risk breaking it. You throw me your mix CD. Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> Doctor Gordon. This is your wake up call. Every day of your li- of your working life, you have to give people the news that they are going to trip over something some absolutely nothing soon. <laughs> now you will be the cause of tripping over absolutely nothing. You aim in this the, your aim in this game is to kill Adam. You have until July 17th to do it. There is a man in the room with you. When there is that much avocado toast in your blood. The only thing left to do is hurl. There are ways to win this hidden all around you. Just remember, X marks the spot for the bubble wand. Let the game begin. And scene. <laughs> I can't believe this movie is 20 years old. That's crazy. Right? Good spoiler too for them, Kareem. Yeah, but but like really though, how would no one notice him breathing? Like, have you ever tried to like not be obvious about breathing? Yes. There was an explanation. I forget what it was. Yeah. Is that like the majority of the movie in that room too? Like, was he just laying on the floor for the whole time? I think he took some kind of drug that like lowered his heart rate, so you couldn't tell. I just thought it was funny how quaint it is. If you watch that whole scene, they're just like walking, they're just like standing there and then like, there's no like artistry to it in like a quaint sort of way. It's like they're just in this room and they just filmed them. That guy threw that thing like four or five times. Marco, your cute. sunlight looks like you got a laser right to your forehead. That's what I did. I said that. It's terrible. It was before Marco. You could do shit like that in movies. It was fine. It's fine. Whatever. It's artsy. Time, wow. people. Different time. Oh. I actually hid out of the way of the camera like it was how we used to do it. And then realized Ooh. most of the way through it that I didn't need to do that. 
I just like when we get to the recording and you're like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I was on the side and I almost ripped my microphone uh, I, out and I was like, oh, no, I have to put this back. I have to talk into this mix CD. Hold on one second. Stacey, I need your wig for the last scene. He probably did a lot of takes, too. He's probably like, this is the room that you're all fucking messed up. Oh, Hold on. I gotta redo that. <laughs> this could also be a momager wig if you just give yeah. it a flush. Nice. Oh, no. I need to get yeah. a short wig now that I don't I'm have to I'm here to pick up the kids from soccer practice. <laughs> <laughs> After Fight Club, you look like you've been Yeah, you look like up. you're all messed out or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Please, sucker mom. And my Woo-hoo. mommy just put on my makeup today. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> or you could be ah, Carrie Owens with if you put yeah. it down. <sighs> okay, we ready? Yeah. Oh, hot. <laughs> um, group of people, Disney adults. Yeah. Uh, the worst kinds of people, right, Tina? Aren't they? <laughs> Shut your mouth, Marco. Are you a Disney like, adult? Not- 90% of Disneyland is adults nowadays. It's great. <laughs> Tina and I Well, that's because a... kids are irritating when you take them there. I mean, Whoa. they're the reason you should go, and it's silly that adults go by themselves. Don't get me wrong. But that's, like, the logic, I think. They're like, eh, Red I want to be around the stupid kids. I want to do this by myself. Because <laughs> um, in the pandemic, Tina and I did Disney trivia against each other, and I kept up. Ooh. Oh. We but we we run in different lanes on that yes. as we learn. Does Tina know all the like make fine melody things? Well, Tina knows I like all... more of the behind the scenes stuff and Oh like, yeah. I'm not I'm not that up on like songs and I know a lot of the characters, but I don't I know most of the characters, but I don't know like all the songs and lyrics and all that. Oh I'm yeah. More that's like not suited to you. Why did this ride exist in blah blah? blah. In the I'd be like, oh, you, you named this movie. I could sing you some songs. Right. Yeah. When people complain about Disney princesses songs being hard to sing, I'm like, I don't understand that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't have that problem. Um, <laughs> How often are people complaining about that? <laughs> Those Disney songs are so dang hard to sing. Uh, no, 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 that, to sing them. I saw a thing on that, the internet. Yeah. They're like, it was a meme. It's like the next thing we want in a Disney princess is a, uh, what's that word? Is an alto. <laughs> mm. Well, that's why they have the guys sing songs yeah. in the movies too. You can sing those ones. That's why you gotta hire Donny Osmond to be an Asian man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mar- Marco, Subject, you'll be pleased. Calculus. You'll, Marco, you'll be pleased to know that I am uh, inside of 10 years of being caught up to the most current Disney movie. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Well, you're you've gone past. That's that's wonderful, Tina. You've gone literally past taking these I've like seven seen. years for this. It's funny. Adjective wibbly wobbly. Doesn't that get really? easier then? I mean, I guess if you don't count. Yeah. Well, you, I just you, watched yeah. Moana. But, <gasps> that's so uh, good. We also realized that we skipped two, so I have to go back because I missed yeah. uh, Inside Out and Good Dinosaur. <gasps> oh, so Inside Out's so those. good. Oh, you do count mm-hmm. Pixar one. Then Cars good Three is next. Good dinosaurs, I, wild. Like the most gorgeous landscapes, and then the most doofy looking dinosaurs. You're like, how? Why? Why did we put these together? Anyways, sorry. I've never seen it. Place in Central. I mean, pl- place in New York, Central Park. I did good really job, like Moana. I like Moana a lot. Moana's good. Moana's They're coming so out with a live action yeah. Moana. Yeah, they don't need to do that. They don't. With the rock. <laughs> with the rock. Yeah, but I think it's okay. You probably don't need to. Are we over the rock? I thought we were over him. Why did why did they why are they skipping ahead like twenty years? Food, they did this thing chicken. where they're doing all the like nineties movies or eighties movies or whatever, and now you're like, no, we're just gonna do one that's like ten years old. There's also Moana two coming out at the end of this year. Well, because they did out. the they did and the live action Lion King, and that was a dud. So. Yeah. Inside well, Out two, action. Moana two, and Zootopia two. They're really bad. It wasn't live so action because it was CGI animals that couldn't emote, but they weren't real animals either. I didn't watch it. I just heard bad things. That's a Beyonce thing. It was like thing. a re-ownership yes. thing. <clears throat> that I, I couldn't watch it based on her alone. Sorry. Who's that? 
Beyonce annoys me. Oh, yeah. That's Subject. Fair. Oh. Time travel. <laughs> um, grueling hoppy cave diving. Yeah, I don't want to oh, do that. God. That sounds hard. You gotta Looking really like it. Nut. Um, objects. Queen Bay. More like Queen Nay. <laughs> A pooper scooper. <laughs> um, uh, drink tequila sunrise. Kim, did you say something against Queen Bee while I was I'm missing? sorry. <laughs> Go change or something. Um, <laughs> Megan, <laughs> Megan Jocelyn says that Stacy and her wig look like a kid from Village of the Damned. <laughs> yeah. should do something from that. Everybody should just. Um, <clears throat> I need to drink a food and an illegal activity. Food, a potato. Oh, 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 that's what your relatives oh, ate, oh, 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 oh. No, they actually, the yes. They didn't eat them because they all the potatoes oh. went bad and they all died. That was a flabbing, but we're still laughing, don't we, Marco? Well, how far was that? It's funny because they died, yeah. <laughs> Drink Slurpee. Ooh, uh, that was like the highlight of my childhood, getting a Slurpee. That's a Slurpee of potatoes. Oh, the that's the flavor they have in Ireland. Do we have an illegal activity? A potato whiskey slurpee. <laughs> slurpee. <laughs> I'm trying to find a, an illegal activity that's not a public Give me an illegal activity. Um, we've got decent exposure. There we go. Keeping it classy. <laughs> Show your potato out in the wild and it's indecent exposure. Do that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're right, Dennis. A potato slurpee is vodka. <laughs> Very true. Okay, this is our most recent movie that we will be doing. Uh, this is 2014's Gone Girl. The plot of this movie on their fifth wedding anniversary, Nick reports that his wife Amy has gone missing. Under pressure from the police and growing media frenzy, Nick's portrait of a blissful union begins to crumble. Soon his lies, deceits, and strange behavior have everyone asking the same question. Did Nick kill his wife? But spoiler alert, Amy's a psycho. Uh, after learning that Nick cheated, Amy meticulously planned her own disappearance to make it look like Nick killed her. Later, when she decides to return home to Nick after seducing and then murdering an old ex-boyfriend to make it look like he's the one that kidnapped her, she gets artificially inseminated with Nick's semen to ensure that he will not leave her. It's oh, nuts. This, is, this movie's off it, the rails. So off the rails. I really enjoyed the first like third of it when I was like, ooh, it's a murder mystery, I'm in. And then it was like, I'm alive. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm out. Not fun for me. Mm -hmm. Anyways, in this scene, uh, Nick and Amy are going to meet. That's what's going to happen. After I put oh, my I hair on. Probably, I should probably act like I'm in this scene. OK, here we go. No, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Damn it. I'll wait for you to get your hair back on. OK, it's misbehaving. The blonde wig never lets me down, but now it is. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, miss. I just want you to be careful where you put down that monk brood. Oh, shit. Excuse me, miss. I just want you to be careful where you put down that monk brood tequila sunrise because the party's down three beast lights and a bottle of Slurpee. It might attract some desperate characters. It could. I mean, the Disney adults are on a rumspringer. They already relieved me of my artisanal barbecue chicken platter. Oh. <laughs> Finally, someone tells me how to pronounce that word. Barbecue? Yes, barbecue. One syllable. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Whose tequila sunrise am I about to drink? Oh, don't tell me. Let's see, who's your type? Uh, I don't see you sitting quietly like, well, this guy bloviates on his post-grad thesis about time travel. <laughs> oh, what, is that him? The ironic hipster who makes jokes about pooper scoopers? <laughs> what type are you? Potato-fed, salt-of-the-earth Missouri guy. Missouri, cute. Hmm? Native New Yorker? The world doesn't exist past Central Park. Oh. What's your name? Amy. Well, Amy, who are you? 
A, I'm an award-winning cave diver. B, I'm a moderately influential, indecent exposureist. <laughs> C, I'm a person for magazines. Okay, well, your hands are far too delicate for real cave diving work. And I happen to be a charter subscriber to Middling Indecent Exposure Weekly, so I'd recognize you. I'm going to go with C. And you, who are you? I'm the guy to save you from all this wibbly wobbliness. I'm seen. Vomit. Vomit. Save me from what? <laughs> <laughs> Someone save me from my wibbly wobbly life. Wibbly wobbly now. Oh, Lord, somebody save me from wibbly wobbly place. I think that when you do the show, when you intro the show, Green, you should talk like that. Ah, <laughs> I like can't. Movie live. <laughs> <laughs> I love this She's such a weird way of talking in that movie. She's just so like, yeah, she's super husky. <laughs> I was, I was going for his brand of vocal fry, but it didn't. He has like a very quite. specific type of not acting and always seems yeah. like, he, like he, he, every bit of acting he does looks like that picture of him smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, uh, I think it's been a while since I've seen a movie that he was in, but for the most part, I think like 95% of his movies, he, he cries at some point. Did he cry in this movie? Does anyone know? Because I feel probably like probably his, oh, his pro wife dies or something, yeah. right? I've never seen this. I haven't seen any of these movies. Yeah, told you what happens. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know she doesn't really, but like that doesn't it doesn't oh, think his wife is dead though, so he probably cried. No, he actually got pictures yeah. like taking pictures of people when she was missing. It was very kind of equivalent of old Scott Peterson when that whole thing went down. Yeah. Yep. That's what makes Sacramento famous. Woo! Modesto made Sacramento famous? <laughs> I thought he was Sacramento. Or he's oh, right here. Yeah. We actually just talked about this the other day. Yeah, it was Modesto. I don't know why he came oh, up really? in the conversation. That's know. weird. I saw somebody oh, else. People are randomly. They said Sacramento. He's enough. getting well, their trial. Visiting his. Yeah, the Innocence Project is like on him, which is like what? <laughs> he's getting a new trial. So yeah. Yeah. I don't believe it. He's bonkers. Anyways, we have one more theme for you tonight, but fear not, friends, because I have already put together a whole part two spoiler alert show, because like I said, I enjoy reading how movies end and not bothering to watch them, because who's got time for that? Uh, so yeah, so I've got five more of these for you all. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be a great time next week. Yeah. Uh, and then unfortunately, so I think we have two more weeks of shows, and then we are going to have to take a month-long hiatus because the theater is booked and we are not full of using it while it's booked so but we will be bringing you some fun stuff during that time so keep your eyes uh peeled, peeled. peeled. keep a look yeah we have a, a something potentially fun for big day of giving coming also oh, so. okay. big dog yeah. work well, some fun. so if you don't follow us on social medias yet do so so you don't miss out I don't know what mm -hmm. they're talking about. They're saying Specifically it, like, no because we don't post to Instagram very often, but <laughs> so Facebook is the way to go. Follow yes. us there for the newsies. Um, anyways, what are we getting, Dana, for our last scene? Celebrity Emma Watson. Yay, oh, Evan, we accept it. She's very famous. There's going to be a lot of ins movie. insults in this, isn't there? I need insults. Uh, Four of them? Wow. Um, game code names. Oh, that game's really fun. What is it? How do you play it? It's like you, you get to be, you. there's like words on a table and you have to use different words to describe them that your partner would know. It's called password. Yeah, but it's different. It's, it's fine. Don't run. Don't steal something and then rename it. It's stupid. Activity that makes one look guilty celebrating. Mm -hmm. What? How do you look guilty? So all the people at the graduation that are happy their kid made it, they're like, oh, they're all so guilty looking. <laughs> Body part left eardrum. Yeah. That is um, it's body part. Thing you do when sad, eat ice cream. Ooh. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, clothing item, Mary Jane clothing. shoes. 
Where did that go? Did I already put something in the wrong spot? <laughs> what did I do? Um, insult name. <laughs> Sorry. You... Fart face. That's a good one. Oh, you sure Sorry. did. Uh, what was the clothing item? Sorry. Mary Jane shoes. Mary Jane. They're either shoes made of weed or shoes for Spider Man's girlfriend. No, you neither of those. Up. They're strappy shoes. They have like a strap across them, but they're usually flat. Black. Black. I one of you to be able to help me. Very cute. You can get them in different colors well, too. You know what messed me up? It's Evan giving me a celebrity when I didn't ask for a celebrity, Evan. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Insult oh, name fart face. Got it. That could have been an be insult perfect. name, Emma Watson. Yes. <laughs> no. No, I'm putting it in. She's one of the insults. Yeah. What did, what, what Emma what Watson. Mean? What does it mean when you call Evan. someone Emma Watson? Emma Watson. <laughs> I could think of some things. Um, <laughs> um, wow. Shots fired. Object blender. What is that? Mm. I got one of those. I use it sometimes. Um, game Minecraft. Oh, I play mm. that game. Yeah, me too, bro. Totally Minecraft. I play it on my 3DS. I like Nickname. Silly Goose. Silly Goose. <laughs> um, body part Ilium. Ilium. What's that? Do do? Where's that at? Forgot. Mm. It's intestine, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? part of the stomach that goes down into okay. the intestine. Mm, I was like just wondering because everybody else went, hmm, like, like they mm. knew or they were no, also worried. No, it's that part of that GI tract. Yeah. That's how There's... we play off. Like, yes, I'm an yeah. intelligent. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, who knows thing. Yeah. Because that one, yet, there's. Final box. section of the small intestine. Thank you, Avarama. Good job. The medical field. I knew that because I took human anatomy in college. Don't tell you learn that in dental school, school Marco. No, you it's have to great. get a degree in biology before you can go to dental school, Marco. I had the thought the other day that I'm like, here we all are walking around like with these very incredibly complex machines, and we don't know how to have to use yeah. them. It's like we don't go to school, but like I feel like everyone should get like a manual. And be like, these are your body parts, and this is how they all work. That requires they them to go forth. Because they There's named. Still Every yeah. little bump and every little hole in any bone, everything has a name and it's stupid. But you're also assuming, Tina, that they actually know how all the parts work. Cause like yeah. pregnancy and stuff, there's so many things. They just no idea. So it's like, <laughs> like menopause so, so, it to do what it does. Crazy. Ow. <laughs> well, it's gonna but, happen. Term for butt dead ass. Perfect. Everybody sounds like like they're medical conspiracy people. It's like, yes. Everybody's like, yeah, doctors don't know shit. All right. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know why you have a chin, Markle. They don't know. Curious. They don't have any idea. Why well, do it's people like, have chin? Is there bone under here? I don't know. No. Yes, there is. No, your chin is cartilage. It's a mandible bone. I know. Ooh. This is your uh, psychomatic arch. One last insult name, and we're ready to roll. Insult name. Oh, Evan's Can playing with the insult? emoji. Oh, Evan's just sending emojis. Why is he doing yes. that? Nobody is asked he, for emoji. Is he helping? Name Trash Panda. That's a good one. Perfect. Thank you, John. Is Evan oh. having fever dreams because of the COVID? Probably. He's just sending emojis. <laughs> out. <laughs> He's freaking that, out. That Paxlovid's hitting him real hard. Um, oh, hey. Okay. Hopefully, Charlie's coming. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> uh, our next scene is from 1996, guys. Have, if you haven't watched it, it's on you. Uh, Primal Fear, the plot of this. As the brutal uh, as brutal murder of Chicago's beloved archbishop by the hand of a shy 19-year-old altar boy, Aaron, makes the headlines. The high-profile defense attorney, Martin Vale, takes the opportunity to be in the spotlight. 
pro bono Vale is eager to represent the penniless defendant and the case's seemingly obvious murderer. However, Aaron appears to know more than he lets on. Stamper reveals that he suffers from multiple personality disorder, claiming that the murder was actually committed by his alter ego, Roy. Then, spoiler alert, after being found not guilty by reason of insanity, Stamper reveals that he doesn't actually have the disorder. No, no, no. He is no longer stuttering or speaking in a Southern accent. Uh, the murderous, but now perfectly sane and made make up the identity of Roy, the murder of Aaron. He was Roy the whole time. Um, and he admits to having murdered the archbishop, well as his girlfriend, Linda. I don't know about Lin who Linda is. Linda. Says. Uh, and in our scene, Martin talking to his client, Aaron, when Roy suddenly appears. Great. Charlie's here. This is Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Honey's here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <And action. laughs> I'm losing this case. You know why I'm losing this case? Because my fiddle fork and client is fiddle fork and lying to me. No, 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 no. I, I never, I never. I bullshit. Never. That's it. No more bullshit. No more Minecraft. <laughs> Everybody thinks you do this. Everybody, I'm the only one who believes you, and I am that close. So I want it all out, all of it, right now, right here. Did you celebrate? <laughs> hey, 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 look at me, look at me. Did you celebrate? N no, I, I didn't, I didn't. I don't believe you. That is bullshit. I, I told you. You. I don't fiddle fork and believe you. I saw the blender. I saw the blender. I know what he did to you. I want to hear it from you. No, no, no. Tell me the whole thing. Don't fiddle forking do this. I want you to tell me the truth and do not even think of lying. You fiddle forking killed him, didn't you? You did it. You killed him. You're so full of shit. No. <laughs> You did it, didn't you? Tell me the truth. Don't lie to me, you little fiddle fork. You did it. You killed him. <laughs> no. Or faith eating trash panda. <laughs> <laughs> you fiddle fork and killed him. No. What the hell do you want from me now? Quit, quit eating ice cream. I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying. You little fart face, you make me sick. Oh, well, looky here. Now, who the fiddle fork are you? Who the fiddle fork are you? <laughs> this is my cell, you silly goose. Who the fiddle fork are you? I got you now. You're the lawyer. You're his lawyer, ain't you? Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. With your fancy Mary Jane shoes. I heard about you. Well, my, my, you sure fiddle fork this one up, counselor. Sounds to me like they're gonna shoot old Aaron so full of poison, it's gonna come out his left eardrum. Where is Aaron? Aaron's eating ice cream off in the corner somewhere. You scared him off. You gotta deal with me now, boy. Well, I ought to hurt you on principle. Look at me. You ever come in here again and put any of that tough guy shit on Aaron again, I will kick your fiddle forking dad ass to Sunday. <laughs> you understand me? Uh, I understand you. I, I understand. Mm. Aaron gets in trouble. He calls you. You're the man. Yeah. Well, Aaron couldn't kick his own dad ass. I mean, you seen him with the duh, duh, duh. Y yeah. Yeah, well, he sure as shit couldn't handle that preacher's blood, could he? If he'd done like I told him, we wouldn't be in this mess. But no, he got all furious and ran off and got himself caught. Stupid little Emma Watson, Evan. <laughs> so, Aaron did kill Rushman. Hell no. Jesus Christ, where did they find you? Ain't you been listening to me? 
Aaron don't have the guts to do nothing. It was me, you ninny hammer. It was me. And scene. So good. That's great. <laughs> that was good. Good job, Tina. Thank you. That's Amazing. a good move. Oh, very fun, everybody. Uh, <laughs> If you, I, I forgot to ask people up top, but if you have a favorite movie with a twist ending, what is it? Let us know. We need to know. <laughs> uh, spoil some movies for us. Why not? Uh, but in the meantime, you all are the best. We'll see you next week with five more of this nonsense. Uh, yeah. Love y'all. Good night. Mm -hmm.